back straight up. I'll try to get him up. Holy sh! <laughs> oh my god, that's a fish. That's a fish, dude. Let me get this gear set up and I'll be right with you. Previously on Northwest Fishing Fanatics. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, come on. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. We went back to the bottom. Skippy. Uh, yeah, use the skippy first. Man, I wish I had a bead chain on this one. But. Are you using this color or are you using blue? I'm gonna use green. You want one? I do. Well, thank you. It's a good one there. Is it gonna catch a fish? Oh, probably. Yes. That's all that matters then. Green. Oh yeah, she's spinning like crazy back there. Looking good. Already looking good. Feeling good about this, man. Of course, I'm always feeling good about it. Be with you in a minute. Right at the knot. Send her down. I'm gonna start out, start out at a hundred feet. One hundred feet. Where are you at? One twenty-six. I'm one forty. One forty-one. Came off, what happened? Is that a fish? No. No fish, what the heck? I loaded it too much. I loaded it too heavy. now now I can hear you oh wow wow coming in loud and clear I'm uh, like 12 miles away 
We're gonna be about three miles south of you based on the last numbers that you sent me, your target area. I figured we'd just spread out a little bit. It looks like every boat in Westport's going here because I'm surrounded by charter boats and everybody else. Yeah, we had a charter boat out in front of us going a little bit further north. Um, and then there's a few boats where we are now. We're going to actually troll north. All right, yeah. Okay, there's, if it's foggy where you are, you're going to be shocked at how many boats are there in another 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we decided to leave early. Where'd it go? What was that? I'm surprised you haven't caught anything yet. I want you to tell me right where to go so I can get my fish real quick. We've, only, we've had the lines in the water for about 10 minutes now. What the hell's going on out there? Ain't no fish here. How deep are you? I don't think you're at the right depth. <laughs> Varying depths right now. 69. 169. <laughs> Go deeper. 147. Where are you at? 125. Welcome back to another episode of Northwest Fishing Fanatics Offshore Adventures. That took a while to get back to you, didn't it? We left we left bright and early this morning, oh dark 30. Bobby was at my house at 2.15. 2.15? Yeah. 2.15. We launched in the dark, crossed the bar in the dark, made it all the way out here, and now look at it. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've started with the old standby, the white glow flasher, green herring, on both rods this time. And we are trolling north. We haven't put a fish in the boat. We've been here for 10 minutes already. What's going on? I'll bite. Can you hold your mouth right? I don't know. I gotta change the way I'm holding my mouth. That's what my dad always said. Crazy, crazy right there, guy out here in an open sled. Is that like a 15, that's, 16 foot? No, that's like a 20, 22. But that's a big boat, but still, that's not designed to be out here. Well, we had to move. We fished in this first location for about 10 minutes and didn't catch a fish. So we had to leave. <laughs> had to head out to deeper water. We're at uh, 295 right now as far as depth. I've got 180 on the wire, Bobby's got 125. So somebody commented on the last video that I made that I didn't explain exactly what I lost as far as the downrigger setup. What I lost was the release, the, the 48 inch release. I lost the rubber snubber and the ball and the little rubber bumper that I put above the, uh, above the, the above rubber snubber. Did it hit? Do you have a bump? Still there. He's there? You got a fish. Oh, that's a fish. Okay. Don't set the hook anymore. <laughs> Especially if it's a coho. Just nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Look at that. We put puts our stuff down and Bobby gets a hit immediately. 30 seconds. Oh, that looks like a good fish. Look at that. Nice. That's not a coho. Yeah. That's definitely not a coho, man. It's coming up. It's a, it's a Chinook. 
I might have to go back to green. That was on the way down. That was on the way down. Dang. It's set. Nice. It's definitely a good Chinook. That's what I like to see. You hit the spot and bam, fish on. Forty-one feet there. And he's gonna go around that side, of course. <laughs> no, just let the fish go where he wants to. Sometimes you don't have any choice where that fish wants to go. Well, half of the idea of keeping the oh. no the uh, boat in gear is to make sure that you always keep tension on the fish, yeah. especially with these barbless hooks. Good fight, huh? Yeah. So heavy. I see your flasher. Oh, I see. I see chrome, dude. I see chrome. Okay. Oh yes, I see chrome. Jumper. That's not all that big, but it's a nice one. Right up, right up, up. Reel down. Lift, lift. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, there you go, dude. Nice. Put it there. Nice. Broke the ice. Broke the ice. Nice job. Bonk it first, and that way you can deal with it. Oh, he wasn't going anywhere. He's got both hooks in him. You had him buttoned up good. That's awesome. Let's, let's get a take. Let's get a look at that thing. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Nice job, man. Awesome fish. Good eater. My dad's knife. He's got a fish on. You've been hearing a lot of that lately. You've been hearing that a lot lately. I think I said that like five times in the last video. Still on there? Feels like it. Maybe it's coho. Definitely not a king coming out that easy. It's definitely on there. About 40 feet. Small Chinook. Woo! All right, go over, go over, go over, go over. My line's right there. There you go, there you go. If he turns, bring him over to the other side. If he turns. I don't think that thing is legal, dude. It's small. Too small. 
perfect. There you go. Bring them up. Bring them up. There he is. There you go. It's probably legal. You don't want it though, right? I don't want it. No. There he goes. They got standards, man. Since when? <laughs> Another fish on, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Just came off. Are you serious? Yep. Just came off. I want you to go down there and slap that fish upside his head. Oh, that's shooting. Ooh, she's pulling line. I was just saying, I was just saying to Bobby, I haven't touched a fish all day, all morning. Ooh, ooh, look at that, look at that. Look at that, dude, it's, look how that, it's, look how much line is taking. Can you hear it? <laughs> we both got hit, that was 150. Oh my gosh, it's running. It's running. Should I go back out or wait? Wait. This is a fish in half here. Ooh. He's taking five. Yeah. This is a good one. Turn it up and down right here, look at it. Got a double there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna kick it back into gear since it's getting close. Oh, we can keep some pressure on the fish. Might want to move your rod. Oh, just point it up to the front. There you go. Whoops. Shit. Get it out of the water. The fish might go that way. Apparently he wants to go over here. Get the downrigger out of the way too. They can swing it backwards. There you go. Well, how's it going, Gene? Get it on. No, oh, hand me the mic. It's hanging over there. He's busy trying to land a fish. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever you do, don't touch his rod. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Oh, this is a nice one. Look at that, dude. That is a nice one. Back straight up. I'll try to get him up. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, that's a fish. That's a fish, dude. That's a 20 pounder. <laughs> Woo, baby! Yes! Oh man! Right on! Nice fit. Brian, I think I might have beat your 18 pounder. Woo! Boom! That's the one I was waiting for, baby. <laughs> Woo! I knew when he was taking line, I was like, holy shit, that's a fish. Okay. 
Fuck yeah. Yeah, Steve's already beat that today. <laughs> So Steve's with him. Let's get back out and try to get uh Coho. Yep. Oh man, look at that. I had both hooks in his mouth. There is no way that fish was coming off. That's a badass fish, man. Yeah, that's a that's a fish, man. I gotta get my pliers. Oh, that's not gonna fit in the bucket, man. <laughs> that's <laughs> now that's nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Come on, get in. <sighs> I've redeemed myself for today. Good things come to those who wait, huh? Yeah, they do. Well, let me get baited up so we can go down at the same time. I don't get the boat all twisted sideways. Now we can go to the kimchi. We can go to the kimchi herring. That's a toad. That is a super nice fish. All right, let's get back on the troll, get some coho. Oh, this baby is a toad. What a mess. That's our catch so far. Two kings and two brown bombers. Oh, I got a fish on. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, he's a nice one too. Oh, this is a good one. Holy moly. He broke it loose and was pounding on it. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's not mine. Oh yeah, that is mine. Jumping on the surface. Did you see the size of that thing? It's, look at it, it's a huge coho. Exactly. Look at, oh, oh, oh man, if that is a coho, he hit it 60 feet and it went right to the surface and started jumping. That's crazy. I've never seen one do that. Where you at? Like a downer? 60 feet. No, I mean, no. Oh, 57 feet. <laughs> that was wild. I hope this is a coho. It's acting like a coho. I thought there was no way that could be my fish out there jumping on the surface. That's a nice size, whatever it is. I hope it's a coho, man. I've never seen a king jump so crazy like that. That's why I'm hoping it's a coho. They never want to go to the right side of the boat, you know that? Well, pretend like you want to go on that side. Yeah, I'll go like this. <laughs> yeah, and I'll force them over yeah, there. Maybe. Maybe they do that. Oh, I think it's foul hooked in some kind of weird way. That's why it was acting all goofy. But it's still a good sized fish. Ooh, feel some head shakes. Could be butt shakes in this case. Coho, isn't it? That looks like a king to me. It's gonna be tough to hook because I mean net because he's hooked in the top of the back. He's hooked in the top of the back. Okay. Oh. 
foul hooked Chinook. Here, 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 I'll tell you what. Take my rod. I don't want the, uh, no, I don't want the net. I'll just, we can't keep it anyway, so there's no point in putting the net. Oh, I have the pliers on me. I'll just get the line and... <laughs> hey, you're touching my rod! I'm coming. I know. That thing's gonna come slinging out of there. Okay. Got it. I got it. It's not happy. There he goes. There he goes. Wow. Foul hook Chinook. That was a fun fight though. Foul that was kind of cool. <sighs> well, that's a wrap. We are going to call it quits. We did not catch any coho today, which is kind of weird. But Bobby did catch a nice Chinook. I caught one Chinook was a little bit bigger. And we caught two brown bombers. Yellow tail rockfish. And a so, couple other Chinook to the boat too, right? That's true. Yeah, we actually did uh, release one I had foul hooked in the back. And then you released another one that you got. So, yeah. So, it was a Chinook day. Uh, not a bad day. Not a great day, but, you know, we had to work for them. But we ended up catching them. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Hit the like button. Thumbs up. And I'll see you on the water. Peace, love, and tight lines.